Family and friends remembered former President George H.W. Bush today in a service at the Bush's Family Church in Houston, giving the nation a final farewell before he began his journey to his resting place. Camila Bernal was there as the president was laid to rest this evening. A 70-mile journey to a final resting place. A Special Union Pacific train Bush 4141, carrying President George H.W. Bush and arriving at College Station, Texas, Thursday afternoon. Crowds gathered in the rain to say farewell to the 41st president at his namesake library. His family watched as his casket was removed from the train in a final ceremony, followed by a 21-gun salute and a U.S. Navy 21 aircraft memorial flyover in the Missing Man Formation to honor the life of a man who gave a lifetime of service to his country. This all before Bush was laid to rest in a private ceremony beside his late wife Barbara and their daughter Robin, who died when she was three. Oh. Earlier in the day, family and friends shared personal stories at his funeral in Houston. George Herbert Walker Bush is the most gracious, most decent, most humble man that I will ever know. Don't Former Secretary of State James Baker delivered a eulogy for his best friend, recounting the president's many accomplishments. After becoming the youngest naval aviator, he served in increasingly responsible positions on behalf of his country. Giving insight into the man behind the presidency and marking the end of a life, but not a legacy. Because our glory, George, was to have had you as our president and as such a friend. In College Station, Texas, I'm Camila Bernal.